going on everyone? Mark here and today we're doing a video on, uh, I don't know, just kind of a little side project video I guess. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be uh, going to do some, it's like a photo shoot basically for a friend of mine. And uh, he's going to be releasing his album here soon. So yeah, so we're going to be doing that. I'll be taking a picture of him and the uh, models that are with him as well. So that way we can get kind of a nice cover picture for his new album that he's releasing. And uh, we're going to do a few other things along the way. I've got to pack the car, got to take my lights down, and get them loaded into the vehicle and everything. And So yeah, so let's do that. So now I've got to record a video. I was like, kind of my list of things to do. It's not really that many, but I've got to record a video of me just uh, doing a video on my tinted windows that I now have on the Outback. As you can tell, like how much of a difference. And they are, they're officially done. It's, I've had it for eight days now. I've had these windows tinted and it's made a major difference. It just looks so much nicer. It matches the back. It's actually darker, but it matches the back though. It, from a distance, you can't really tell. Oh man. So I've got these people that pulled up next to me on the side and they're uh, like waving and stuff. <laughs> If I can get this to stay better. I may have to find like a rubber grip mat or something to hold my camera up a little bit better. The traffic is terrible today. Everyone their mother's out. It's, the time of recording this video is like December 21st. And so, yeah, it's traffic's just terrible. Hey, fellow Subaru. I love seeing Subarus. Like, you know, some people get upset like when they see like I don't know. There's a few people that in this world that get upset when they see like the same car over and over. And my thing is this: like, every time I see a Subaru, it doesn't matter what make or model. I just I love seeing them. I mean, it's just so you know. I'm part of I guess the Subaru cult, if you want to say. I you know I had the STI, and then now I've got this Outback, and you know I, I just I love them. My mom and dad they actually bought the. Uh, is the Accent or Ascent? I think it's a Super Ascent, is what's called, and it's the biggest SUV they have. And it's just they're just such nice, reliable cars for the most part. You know, you know, besides the STI motor, <laughs> throwing freaking head gaskets and throwing rods and. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, like these Outbacks, I don't know. I, I think this one we've got, we've got almost thirty-five thousand miles on it. My goal is I want to have this car hit the two hundred thousand mile club. I want that badge. That's my main thing. I want that badge on the back of this car so I can say I'm in the 200,000 mile club or even the 300,000 mile club. Okay, I'm recording. Sweet. All right. Like one time, like I say that often now. And so it's like one time I was actually recording and I mean, I nailed this scene and my camera wasn't recording. And it made me really upset because I did not push the uh, record button. And then there was one time I did push the record button and uh, I don't know if the camera messed up or if uh, my friend Hayden accidentally pumped the button, but it stopped recording and I was like, oh crap. <laughs> so yeah, so 
always triple check and say, I hope I'm recording before you shoot your video. Man. I may have to go for some Taco Bell today. I love Taco Bell. I actually ate it like two days ago. And the one lady, I, I see her probably at least three times a week. And she is such a nice lady. Like, I, I've got a, her receipt and uh, a receipt from her right here, actually. Oh, that's not it. Her name is Susan C. She is so sweet. She gave me a senior discount. She is like, but don't, she's like, not trying to insult you, but I'm giving you a senior discount because that's the only discount they could give. And I was like, you're so sweet. Yeah, that's just a nice little act of kindness. And she's like, well, you're such a frequent here, you know, you deserve a, uh, you deserve a discount. I'm like, oh, that's so nice. And so I, uh, so I told her that, you know, because I did another video, I haven't released it because, uh, just I haven't, but I was going to do a video on relieving everyone that I've seen at, at Taco Bell, like five star reviews. But anyways, we're at the bank, so let's... Oh, that's all, sir. Alrighty, you too. Oh, man. Alright, so... Hats taken care of. I'm glad to have that done. Ah. All right. I wonder if I can. There we go. So now we have that taken care of. It's off to the next adventure. So I think I deserve a treat at Taco Bell. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yo, I mean Taco Bell. If you guys want to like sponsor me one day, I'm down. I will totally make videos with Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. Uh, I eat there probably at least four times a week. And so, yeah, probably gonna die early, but I love my Taco Bell. Also, by the way, as you'll be watching this vlog, not a vlog, vlogmas, whatever you wanna call it, you'll be watching this video before my friend's album gets released or maybe on the day of or I, I don't know I haven't really decided all that yet but when his album is dropped this is it's gonna be awesome like it's great music his name is ambiance and uh, he, he makes some really awesome music guys you guys will probably remember if you've been watching videos for a while I'll kind of insert a clip we did a uh, chicken and waffles video at his apartment and so yeah he makes really good chicken and waffles like he's a great cook and he's also a really good musician and I, I highly encourage you guys to go check out his music once it's released it is just it's such a good sound it's kind of got a little bit of old school mixed with the newer style uh, music it's a really good album and you know, I encourage you guys to check it out because he's put a lot of time and effort into the, this album and he uh, he's probably been working on it for a couple of years now, just all the different parts of, per one song, you know, like say for one song he started maybe composing the beats and the guitar and all those different parts, he's, you know, started working on them over the past, I'd say, three years at least. And so he's put time and effort into it. But anyways... We're about to pull up to Taco Bell. We're gonna get ourselves the usual order. I ordered something that's super basic. And people are like, why do you not try anything else? And I'm like, well, go with what you know. So there's KFC. I haven't been to KFC in probably six months to a year. It's right next to Taco Bell. It's so nice out today. It's like 52 degrees out, and the rest of the week it's been like, I think, in the th like the high 30s, 40s, and then on Christmas it's supposed to be in the 60s here. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm 
I'm doing well. What can I get for you today? Hi, can I please get um, two soft tacos, meat and cheese only, an order of nachos, and a large Dr. Pepper? What else for you? Um, that's all, please. Order on your screen, correct? Uh, yes, ma'am. It's going to be 761 at the window, please. All righty, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a good one. Have a good day. So, I mean, I get it, Taco Bell's not the best food or the healthiest food, but I mean, look at that. That's not bad. That's not a bad little taco. So, what you do is you order nachos because you get this little cheese. So, you take that, take your mild sauce, and sometimes I'll do all the sauces and I'll mix it and I'll make it a real spicy one, but here lately I've been just doing mild because... I don't really want spice, you know, as much. You squirt that mild sauce on your taco like so. I don't know if you guys can see that. And let's take a napkin. We'll put the leftover mild sauce right here. We're going to take our cheese. Look at this. And you may be able to ask them to do this, but um, you just take that hot cheese and you pour that stuff on there. And look at that. It's not perfect because the cheese is a little bit more, uh, how do you describe it? It's like runny, but it's not too runny. Though. But let's just show you guys. So that's how I do my taco. Hey, look at that. It's perfect. Also, Taco Bell, you guys didn't have good Dr. Pepper, but in the past probably about two months or so, yeah, it's been about two months, maybe, maybe a little more than two months, three months, you guys stepped up your game on the Dr. Pepper. This stuff used to not taste good at all. I'd be so mad when I'd get a Dr. Pepper from Taco Bell, like... It just tastes terrible. And whatever you guys did, you turned up the carbonation on it or whatever, but it tastes so freaking good now, and I just love it. So I just pulled up here, and we're about to do the photo shoot. I'll probably put this camera on the little mini tripod and just kind of have it off the side, so that way you can kind of see the whole process of taking the pictures and everything. Uh, there's really not much to it, I guess, but it is exciting, I guess. And uh, I'm ready to get some pictures done and hopefully things come out well. All right, so we've got the main stage lights on. Just gotta move this curtain. Or allow some more light through that way.
All right, so we just got done doing the uh, photo shoot. So now, now we are off to edit the pictures at Ambiance's house. Um, I was gonna record the whole thing with my camera while we used his camera to shoot, but unfortunately his battery was dead and for whatever reason or something was up with this camera so we ended up just using my camera to take the pictures well what i'll do is i'll place a few of those pictures in the uh video so you guys can kind of see that but anyways i gotta go grab my laptop we're gonna kind of edit them a little bit and yeah we'll go from there i guess so it is actually really hot right now like i say really hot well at least for this time of year because uh, i'm usually it should be like very, like very, like very, very cool out. And right now it is currently 67 degrees outside. Like I wore a sweater today because all week it's been super cold and now it's so like warm out. It's just uh, unbelievable. All right, so now I just had to go home and pick up my laptop and we're gonna go and edit these pictures with ambiance and there's really not too anything too good about it i mean it's just me putting these on a computer pulling up photoshop editing them and editing them and then putting uh sending them to them in like dropbox but anyways what i wanted to tell you guys what's kind of exciting is i man i sometimes i find some really good stuff on marketplace facebook marketplace and i don't buy it well, I might be, if the, if the seller actually does show up, sometimes people are no-shows. But anyways, uh, there's an old Atari system. And I've wanted to collect an Atari for a while now. Uh, this is untested, that, but I mean, it looks in pretty good condition for what it is. So what I'll probably do is, uh, I, I'm gonna be paying be about 60, 65 bucks for it. But I mean, I figured for uh, for what it is, if if it doesn't work, I could always sell the parts out or fix it and use it. And it's still, you know, there's always there's a number of options. Even the game, there's the games it comes with. I think it has like six or seven games with it. So my plan is to to go buy that today. Also, it's kind of a last minute thing I didn't plan, but hey, it came up on the list. So. Uh, we're gonna look into this Atari, and what I'll probably do is just kind of briefly show you guys the Atari, and then we'll do a dedicated video to uh, restoring it, getting it all cleaned up and everything, because it looks a little dirty. It, it looks like it's been sitting in an attic for a while or in a garage, and so what we'll do is we'll clean it up and get it all nice and neat and test it and everything, and hook it up to the old TV, maybe play a few games, I saw it had like Pac-Man with it, or as Miss Pac-Man as one of the two, and I think that's really cool. I'm excited. I, I like old game systems. I only have my one currently that's actually considered, I guess, a real old game system, and that is the uh, NES. But anyways, aside from all of that, I'm just, uh, I love electronics. That's my problem. I love vintage electronics. It's even a bigger problem. So hopefully this is a good system. Hopefully we can work on it and get it cleaned up and be able to play some classic games. It's been a it's been a loose but busy day. And so I've you know had things I had to do today. And I've gotten done and you know just tell a little bit of like housekeeping as you would say. And so, you know, I think the rest of the day, what I'll do is I'll get this and I'll probably shoot the video of restoring it today. I'm not gonna put it all in this one video because that would not be a good idea. So what I'll do is I'll do that and then we'll put that video up maybe, I don't know, the following week or something or after the new year has happened, passed. All right, so now I'm leaving Amiance's house and let's see. So we picked up the Atari, we're, uh, we're all good there. Unfortunately, it did not come with a power cable or a video cable. Like it's got the video cable coming out of it, but it does not have the adapter. And I've never messed with an Atari before. So an Atari 2600, 
never messed with one before, like video cable wise or anything. I've never even physically touched one until today. So I pulled it apart, it's got the games with it. Uh, I'm going to be doing the video, or starting the initial part of the videoing once I get to the house. I'll kind of give you guys a brief glimpse of it though. But anyways, I had to order a power supply on eBay, and it looks like I'm going to have to find the video cable. I, I'm going to have to do a little bit of research and see uh, see what I, all I need and everything. So we'll get to the house and I'll do all that, I guess. So these are the only pictures that I got on the Atari. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I plan on releasing a video on it in the upcoming weeks, so stay tuned for that.